today is shopping day in the city because we had to take care of some some administration. Which we did not take care of. <laughs> um, I had planned on videoing more of our experience in Peter Maritzburg, but once you get down there, you just don't really want to video anything. Nothing is beautiful about the city in Africa. So we are on our way out of town and we're going through the town that Scott went to high school. And that's a little bit nicer. And they have two health shops that are locally owned. Really nice. So we just got out of the organic shop. And unfortunately I didn't record when we were in there because I didn't want to be weird. Um, we know the ladies in there. Actually, they're, well, the one lady knows you. She's a friend of my mom's and then I went to school with her children. And uh, so, yeah, it just felt weird to walk around with them. Oh, video and things. But we got so much good stuff. I'm so excited. Um, we got five liters of fresh pressed orange juice. It was just pressed this morning and they actually had it in like a five liter uh, container to decant and we took the whole thing because orange juice is amazing, especially if it's freshly pressed. And then they have their own baked goods. So, um, this one is Scott's, it's brownies with nuts, and then mine is uh, sweet potato based. And then we got juice, um, ginger, is this just ginger? Yeah. Ginger and apple and lemon, that's powerful. So I'll show you the rest of it when we get home. Nobody expects Africa to look like this. Or this. Or me. <laughs> Especially around towns and cities, um, there's land invasions where squatters will come in and just put up a shack and there's like some sort of laws that protect them so you can't just like bulldoze their shacks and tell them to go away. If they are there for a certain amount of time then they have squatters rights or whatever. And so around a whole bunch of towns you'll just get uh, either like municipal land like they'll take uh, like parks or uh, farms around the areas, whatever, and, and they'll just move on. Or like side of the highway is a very common one. So it's sad because last time we were here, we actually saw it happen. Yeah. There was a, um, what do you call that, a landing air, strip? An airfield, yeah. An air, yeah, and um, there was like, we saw one show up and we were like, oh no. One shack, yeah. And now, two years later we drove past and you would never know it was an airstrip it is like just hundreds of shacks and houses and there was the hangar for the airplanes there and you, they totally deconstructed the hangar and used all of the metal for their houses so you, like that's gone mm -hmm. uh, it's just really sad because i mean if you owned a house near there your the value of your home literally just yeah. plummeted who came to visit and lucky for them I have carrot scraps a carrot scrap did you hear that oh she heard that I have carrots come on down oh my gosh they literally know what that means oh my gosh she's gonna come in go get your carrot you want some <laughs> her hair so wet you see her Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he didn't come over here. Well, lucky for you. I'm just going to give them all to her. 
Isn't that okay? Be mad. Isn't that a good day? It's been wet. That's all I have. That's it. So we've named her, we've named her Daisy Duke, and we've named him Clayton. Clayton and Daisy Duke. <laughs> you got a cute lip. You got a cute lip. I just want to grab it. I just want to grab it. <laughs> I just want to grab it. She's going to bite you. I'm going to grab her nap. You want me to scratch your chin? I think she's upset that we don't have more food. This lip is something else. So we've opened our gates so they can come graze in our yard. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you all of the stuff that we got from the shops today. Uh, I think it'll be fun to uh, share with you the prices. So obviously everything here is in Rand, but I went ahead and um, it's, did the exchange rate for you so it's about 15 rand per dollar it's actually uh, a little bit more rand but um to keep it simple we'll stick it to 15. so this was all from the organic shop um i was so pumped about this so this was freshly juiced oranges this morning um uh, organic oranges because everything in the shop is organic and this was 20 dollars for a five liter bottle which is quite huge. These onions were 80 cents for the bunch and all of the produce here is from the ladies, um, either her farm or one of the other local farmers and it's all organically grown. Um, and then I got these two spices, cumin and uh, turmeric. The turmeric was $2, the cumin was two sixty six, And then I got these two packets of beetroot and these, for both of them, it was $1.50. Um, and then I got us a bag of avocados and these are actually from her tree, Two sixty-six for the whole bag. So I also got us some sourdough bread and so I'm going to, um, we'll do avocado toast with salt and pepper, um, as a snack. Avocados are such a good fat, especially since they're locally grown. And then we got that little bag of tomatoes, $1.66. And then they actually just gave us the lettuce for free. And then we got this ginger shot. It was probably about $2. That's usually what they are. Two packets of blueberries and together these total to $9.33. All of these eggs, which are local from Happy Chickens, and the eggs were $3.60 for all of these, which I thought was a really, really good price. The apple cider vinegar here is always more expensive. Oh, you know what? That's why. It's with honey and ginger. It's not straight apple cider vinegar. Well, we'll still use it. I was actually planning on getting the apple cider vinegar for my hair, so maybe my hair will get special apple cider vinegar. So that ended up being $9.20. And then same with the sauerkraut. That's also a little bit more on the expensive side. This was $9.33, but... Um, the quality of it's really good. You can see the ingredients. It's a little bit dark in here. And then I got this vanilla extract for baking, and that was two eighty six. Was is a huge garlic. It's like as big as my hand. Was two fifty three, and then the sourdough was two sixty six, freshly baked. And then both of these cheeses together are nine twenty, which is awesome because it's from um, pasture raised cows and um, it's hard to find grass-fed cows, <laughs> you know, all the stuff from them. And then I got coconut sugar and that was $5.80. And then they had all of my herbs and stuff. So um, let's see here. The chamomile again was a little bit more on the expensive side, but it'll be worth it for our teas. It was $6.53. Peppermint was $5.53. Cocoa powder was $4. 
The Epsom salt was $1.86 for this. And the fenugreek was $2.33. And then I got nettle, that's $3.66. And milk thistle, $3.33. So I was hoping they would have hibiscus so I could make our um, infused tea, but I didn't see any. So I'll still end up doing the nettle, the milk thistle. And I'm thinking the peppermint for... Um, like an overnight infused tea, maybe even the chamomile, actually, that might be nice. And then they also had raw milk, which I was so excited about. So I got two um, one liter bottles of it for two fifty three, And then they also had kefir, um, raw milk kefir, and that was two fifty three. And then a thing of cream, and that was a dollar. And then they also had bone broth. So they had uh, beef bone broth, so I got three of those and um, one um, venison bone broth, and those were $1.86 each, and that was a really good price. And then we move on to the stuff that we got from Woolies. So um, we actually were at Woolies first, so I didn't know what the organic shop was going to have, so I tried to get some things that I wasn't sure if they would have. Like, now that we have orange juice, I don't really need the oranges, but they're still a good snack and great in vitamin C. So the orange bag was three sixty. The mangoes uh, is four sixty six. I'm trying to embrace all the tropical fruit that I can while we're here. And then um, baking paper, I would love for the unbleached baking paper, parchment paper, but they don't have that here. So this will do. This was $2. The San Pellegrino water was $2.46. And then um, this is organic uh, freeze-dried coffee. So sometimes we like coffee in the evenings. And so this one's really good. We got this last time. The price has significantly gone up since last time. So this is six, $7.66. And then I also got us two bags of organic rice. And for both of those, it was about $7. So that is everything that we got for today. Sorry if that it's so dark. <laughs> the sun is setting. Oh, look. The zebras are at our other window. Cute. Are you relieved to be back home? Not in town anymore? Praise God. Praise God. <laughs>